Joel chapter 2, verses 28 and 29. And it will come about after this that I will pour out my spirit on all mankind. And your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on your male and female servants. I will pour out my spirit in those days. Say pour out. out. Don't you love that picture? Pour out. It's not like a sprinkling. It's It's Niagara Falls of God. You know. And when I think of what's available to the church in the dimension of the Holy Spirit and how quickly churches settle for less. You know, it's almost like we're, we're committed to Holy Ghost light. You know what I mean? We're, it's like decaf Christianity. You know what I mean? Where we're afraid of getting really touched by God. And yet God is not afraid at all. You know, one of the things is that you see... All of these previews that God gives in the Old Testament, he's giving these hints that something's coming. Something wonderful is going to be poured out. I will take out of you the heart of stone, and I will put in you a new heart, and I will pour out my spirit in you, he says in Ezekiel. It's all of these pictures that he's given us, wetting our appetite for more and more and more. And yet the church is like scared to death to jump in. You know, it's like we will put our toe in the water and we're happy with that, not realizing that we can dive head first into everything that God has. Well, I'm praying today you dive in head first. Can you say amen to that? Yeah. It's, it's one of these things that when you hear Jesus speaking, you know, in his ministry of like, when he says, this, if you knew the gift of God, he said to the woman at the well, if you knew the gift of God, and he calls it the promise of God, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the promise of the Father. So you, if you knew the gift, if you knew the promise, he's talking about this. And then when you begin to see the beginning of every gospel, the synoptic gospel, every one of them, you see him saying that Jesus Christ is coming and he will baptize you in the Holy Spirit. Every gospel begins with that declaration that he wants to baptize you. In the Holy Spirit. So if he's the baptizer, what are we waiting for? You know, how many here can remember when they were water baptized? Do you remember who baptized you? Yeah. And you remember what a big event that was? Full immersion. How many were baptized in the water? Full immersion. Okay. You remember that day? You got soaking wet. And God wants to get you soaking wet with him. Because he's the baptizer. Yeah, I, I remember water baptism for me. It was like I went to this youth retreat. I was like 25, 26 years old. I was probably the oldest person there. And they said, we're going down to this stream for a baptism. And I thought, well, I'll wait till I go to the tank in my own church because that's what they used to have. And then I'm there, and this uh, uh, pastor, he swam out across this stream. It was pretty deep. And there was a rock there, and he swam out, got up in the rock, and he preached water baptism. It was like a scene out of the Bible, you know what I mean? And then he said... Who here wants to be baptized in water? I almost dove right in, you know, (laughs) before I even got off the rock, you know. But it was like one of these moments that I thought, I want everything that God died to give me. I don't want to leave anything on the table. How many here want to leave something on the table? Not me. If he died to give it to me, I want it. And then I can trust the one who died for me that if I ask for uh, uh, a bread, he's not going to give me a stone. Amen. He's not. He's going to give me what he's promised. And I know whatever he's promised is good. Amen. So if I have a hunger for more. And that's what I think, you know, this word that Irina had, that there is not just streams, that there are rivers of living water. You know, there was times in my life, I mean, I can look back at water baptism and when I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and then when I looked at coming into uh, with Randy Clark and uh, the global awakening of movement that we're a part of, and realized that these people were carrying anointings for even more. And then when I went to the VOA in 2008, and I got the baptism of the Spirit and fire... I thought, okay, sign me up for fire. Anybody want to be signed up for fire? 
I kept thinking, where is that in the program? I kept because the Lord kept speaking to me, get, get the baptism of fire, and I'm going through it, and I'm thinking, who's talking on on the fire? I, I didn't see it until I ran into Leif Hetland, and boy, he he just crushed me with the Holy Spirit and fire. And then, man, it was like. I kept, you know what amazed me? That there was more. You know how you get self-satisfied that you think you're, you've got it all? And you're pretty happy with what you've got? And you're cruising along thinking, this is pretty much it because I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm in the in crowd. You know what I mean? I know people who are Pentecostal, but it's small p. You know what I mean? And they're happy being small p Pentecostal. And this is not appeal for, for excess. This is appeal for more. Not small P, capital P, Pentecost Sunday. You know, it's interesting. When you look at the feast that Jews had, you know, Jesus basically fulfills every one of the major feasts the Jews have. I mean, you have uh, Passover comes. You know, they celebrate Passover. You know, that's a, a picture of God's deliverance. And then you have, you know... Um, you have the, the next feast, uh, which is uh, the feast of first fruits. And then Jesus becomes the first fruits from the dead. And then you see uh, a, a, another feast comes along where, you know, it's, 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 it's this picture of a of, uh, uh, feast of unleavened breads where all of a sudden it's a picture of, of all of the sin being taken away. And then it, you come to a feast that's called the Feast of Weeks, you know, which is where they sell, the Jews celebrate Pentecost. And I never really looked at that too much because, you know, it didn't, when you read it in Leviticus, it doesn't really talk that much about what's really Pentecost. It's, it's just a picture of at that celebration, okay, it's after the spring harvest, they take their first fruits of this and they bring loaves of bread to the priest. And it's a picture of bread that's actually leavened. It's not the Feast of Unleavened Breads. This is leavened bread. And it's not the leaven of sin. It's a picture of fullness. And what Pentecost is, is a picture of fullness, okay? We've had the great deliverance by God. He has removed the sin, the, or the sin issue. There's no separation between me and the heaven, my heavenly Father. None. Say none. No separation. I have complete confidence to come to him. Sin is not an issue anymore. He has taken sin off the table and declared me righteous so that every promise and every blessing is now mine. That's part of my inheritance. So Pentecost was this celebration of weeks where he comes and says, no, wave these loaves of bread. Fullness, okay? Not, do you ever see bread that's on leaven? Do you ever see pita bread, no, no, nothing in it? As opposed to a big fat Italian loaf of bread, you know what I mean? <laughs> when Beth and I were in Spain, she lived in a town of Mijas. They had a bakery there that they, they, they used to bake these round loaves of bread. It was to die for. You know, somebody would come back from Mijas and you'd say, did you bring any bread? I mean, it, it was that good, you know? And it was this big, thick loaf of bread, you know? And I, that's the picture of, of the of Pentecost, of the Holy Spirit. It's this nourishing, satisfying, overflowing loaf of God himself. Somebody say Amen. <laughs> All right, I want you to look at this because the Bible says you can't receive anything except by faith. And if I know how Jesus is talking about the Holy Spirit, then I want to latch my faith to it. So go to John uh, chapter 4 and look at verse 10. This is where he meets the woman at the well. And I want you to hear the passion in Jesus' voice. This is not just a... Uh, a, a commentary on, on, on something that's small. Listen to him. Verse 10. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would ask him and he would give you living waters. If you knew, if you only knew. Can you hear the passion? If you knew the gift of God, you would ask me. You're, you're satisfied here for just natural water. I've got living waters. It's a gift from God. Now, he really gets her attention. Because you read in verse 11, she said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Hello, I'm the baptizer. <laughs> 
You're not greater than Jacob, our father Jacob, are you? Who gave us this well and drank it of himself and his sons and his cattle. Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never thirst. Say never thirst. For the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. You have the capacity to never thirst. We measure our lives by what we see in the natural. And those issues and those needs define us. And yet he's saying there is a reality of life. There's a quality of life that supersedes natural longings and desires that you can tap into any time. When Beth and I, we had a stillbirth of a baby boy, and that was devastating to me. You know, I was just overwhelmed. And I just could not believe that this thing happened. You know, when you any kind of loss that you have, we all know the pain of loss. I'm not saying anything new here. But when that pain of loss comes into your life, you basically think that's it. You know what I mean? It's just like nothing can supersede that loss. And I remember driving back from the hospital, coming up Route 130 and just crying out to God, basically in pain, questioning why. Why would you do this? How could you let this happen? How could you let this, you know, uh, poor little boy die like that? I was just like so overwhelmed with all these questions. Well, I want to tell you something. Something happened that the car filled up with the presence of God so strong, and he began to sing to me. And all of a sudden, as I'm driving along, I was so overcome by the presence and power of God, and I realized what he's saying is true. That there is a river, there is a well that we can tap into that supersedes any loss, any need, any desire. He's able to quench whatever we're going through with something greater. And right, right then, it was like so clear to me that this well that he's talking about, there's a well that we can draw from of life itself, real life, that supersedes any loss that you may encounter. That's the reality of of the power of God's Holy Spirit is that he gives to us something that can quench even the deepest needs and the deepest loss because of his great love for us. You have to know this. And if you don't know it, you'll experience when you go through something and you realize, you know what? He said there's a well. Say there's a well, somebody. There's a well for us to draw from. And it's the well of the Holy Spirit that we can tap into at any time, any place. Anywhere we can discover the gift of God. If you knew the gift of God. He said the natural wells draw up and you get thirsty. Anybody know that? Anybody try to sign up for a well and you thought it was the well and it wasn't the well? And all of a sudden the well ran dry? We've all been there. We know that. But he's saying I've got the well. I've got the gift. Hallelujah. Turn to Luke chapter 24. This is how he's... Listen to, again, the passion of Jesus talking about the Holy Spirit. Luke 24, verse 49. And behold, I am sending forth the promise of my Father upon you. But you are to stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. I was sharing about this last week. It's not just clothing. It's... It's, 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 it's like getting a suit of clothes 10 sizes too big for you. That's what he's talking about. It's not like a, uh, a short outfit, you know, like skinny jeans and a skinny coat. This is, this, this is like a robe that's all around you, okay? You are endued, clothed with power from on high. See, Jesus knew that these guys were going to go out in the world and proclaim the, the, a, a new kingdom, a new life, a new way of living, and that they had to have clothing on them that was suitable for this mission, for the power that they needed, and the well, the gift of God that had to be in them. So when you can go out clothed with power from on high, aware of the rivers of life that are available to you no matter what you're going through, you can become a world changer. You really can. You realize, okay, there are more levels of God than have I experienced. If God is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that I can ask or think, you know how much that means? 
I mean, I can think of a lot of great things, and he's saying, that's nothing. I can do exceedingly beyond even that. So stop asking for what you know. Say, good Lord, give me what I don't know. (laughs) Touch me with what I haven't experienced. I'm not settling what I think is great. Go beyond that. See, when I know that, then I will ask for more. Then I'll say, Lord, please give me a download of your kingdom, of your life and your power, such as I've never known before. (laughs) See, I believe God is impressed by people who want more. Just like the mother of James and John. Remember that? She goes up to him and says, Lord, when you come into your kingdom, have Jimmy and Johnny sit at your right hand and your left hand. She said, wow, that's some request. And I applaud you for your, uh, your chutzpah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I can't even give that. How many people have asked something from Jesus? He said, I can't even do that. He said, that's not mine to give. Ask him. Lord, make my life significant. Make my life memorable. Make my life in such a way that I will leave an impression on you everywhere I go. Ask those kind of things. Fill me with such a, in such a way that people will get thirsty for you just by being with me. They'll get a taste of you and want more because I'm touched by more myself. Say more. 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 Whoa. Acts 2. Let's go to it. This is Peter after uh, they just got blasted by the Holy Spirit. And he talks about uh, the Holy Spirit in this term. Verse 39. For the promise is for you. Say it's for me. And your children. Start praying for these little kids. Okay. Sign these kids up for the Holy Spirit. We got a load of them in the church now. (laughs) Sign them up for more, Lord. (laughs) Because the promise is for them. And for all who are far off. Amen. Amen. As many as the Lord God will call to himself. He's saying, this is the promise of the Father that Jesus talked about. This promise is for you. Like I said last week, there are no expiration dates on these promises. It's not coupon Christianity. It's for everybody, anywhere, anytime. The promise is for you. And I want you to go back a few verses in Acts 2. He's giving... An insight of what happened to Jesus after the resurrection. Let's pick it up at verse 32. This Jesus God raised up again, to which we are all witnesses. Therefore, having been exalted to the right hand of God. Now look at this picture. Try to picture this right now. And having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit. Can you see him ascending into heaven and saying, Oh, Lord, I, 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 let's pour it out. Give give it to me. Uh, This is the time. This is the time. This is the gift. This is the promise. Lord, give it to me. Father, hand it to me. He said, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured forth that which you both see and hear. Poured it out. Didn't hold it back. He poured it out on them. So you can see this in, in, uh, exchange. If you ever have a question about the Trinity, you can see the picture right there. There's Jesus asking the Father for the Holy Spirit to pour out on this church. So we see this here, and it's like Jesus is going to heaven asking, now, this is the gift, this is the promise, this is what the previews were all about, both in the Old Testament and the New. This is what it's all about, Father. Give it to me so I can give it to them and pour out this promise that I've spoken about. See, he has such a passion to give you more. You've got to sign up for more. Can you sign up for more? Say more. more. See, when I first heard about the Holy Spirit, I was like, man, I want more. And then I heard about tongues. And I was like, what? What, what was that? <laughs> what, what, what do I have to do? You know, it was like, it was, seemed to be the complete opposite of what I was going after, you know. And when I heard about it, I was really perplexed about it, you know. And then I realized, the more I looked into it, I realized, you know why God does that? Because everybody would sign up for power. Anybody want power? Give me the power of God, you know. Okay, now you're going to start speaking in tongues and people are going to think you're crazy. It's like, nah, I I want the baptism of the Holy Spirit and power, but I don't want tongues. You ever run into people like that? 
Okay? The reason he does it is because it's, it's designed not to flatter us, but to flatter him. See, he's magnified through our weakness and through our humility. Because it doesn't draw attention to us. You know, I remember, like I said, the first time I started speaking to him, somebody said, can you do that? Like it was a magic show. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like it was a carnival trick. Okay, here he is. The tongue-talking pastor. Let's hear him. You know what I mean? I, I, I was like, oh, I didn't, you know, it's, I, it, it was, it's not flattering. Okay? It's not designed to flatter. But this is what he gives us a picture of this. Go back to uh, Isaiah chapter 28. If you're ever wondering about this gift, all you have to do is look at this verse here. And you realize, again, he's previewing what's going to happen. Look at verse 11. Isaiah 28, 11. Indeed, he will speak to this people through stammering lips and a foreign tongue. He's already telling us what's happening. I'm going to speak to you this way. It's going to come in power this way. That will not flatter you and your ego and your pride. But will glorify me because you have chosen the low road. And when you go low, he raises you high. Okay? So you take the low road. You say, Lord, I don't care what it looks like, what it sounds like. Blast me. Baptize. Pour out the Spirit in my life. Because I want you to be glorified, not me. I want to draw the attention to you. Remember the story when I was in Israel? I told you that many times. That I still want to find out what happened to that Chinese guy I met. When I told him about the Holy Spirit, never even heard of it, like in Acts 19. And I told him about being filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues. He says, what's that? I showed him. He said, can you do that? That was the first time I said, I will do that. But I'm going to pray for you to get the Holy Spirit. And like I said before, it was the first time I prayed for somebody. I'm praying in tongues over this guy. And he knows exactly what I'm saying in some Dutch dialect. I didn't know it. He knew it. Okay. So what if I thought, oh, I don't want to freak this guy out. I don't want to embarrass myself. I'd like to be a respectable pastor here. You know what I mean? What if I was more concerned about my reputation than he being filled with the Holy Spirit? So I have to say, Lord, I will do anything and say anything to give you the glory. So you can have the glory in this person's life. Not so I can have the glory. You can have the glory. So he can be touched with power, not from me, but from you. And he'll know for sure that it's from you because he knew it didn't come from me. So when you look at the the gift of tongues this way, and then he says this, I'm going to give you something that's so amazing that you can edify yourself. It's the Holy Spirit praying through you. I was um, talking to Rebecca about, uh, she just got back from Israel too. We were talking about what it was like to go up to the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall there. And we both realized when you walked up to it, you just started praying in tongues. That's what I did. It was just the spirit of intercession came on me. But what happened? The Holy of Holies was right there above us in, on, on the Temple Mount there. And you're touching where God came down and rested there for I don't know how long. You realize that when the Holy Spirit came down and, and the dedication of Solomon's temple, the priest couldn't even stand up. The power of God was so strong there, they were like laid out flat. And if you've seen pictures of meetings where all of a sudden people were laid out flat, you say, that's a good thing. That's a real good thing. When the power of God touches you, you just go down. Bill Johnson talked about being in a hotel. And he's going to the elevator to go down to the lobby for breakfast. And he's talking to uh, a lady there. And uh, she asks for prayer from him. Well, he's standing there. He, he grabs her hand and starts praying for her. She goes down in the spirit. As she's down there, the doors of the elevator open. <laughs> And they're all people that are like, oh, is she okay? Is she? And he's trying to say, no, this, this is kind of normal. This is actually a good thing. She has, she's, not, you know, she's not sick or anything else. But he said, how do you explain that real quick? <laughs> but if you know the Holy Spirit, you're not ashamed of it. You're basically saying, no, the Lord touch me that way each day. So much with your presence that I'm just in another place. You say amen to that. Okay. So if you want the baptism of the Holy Spirit, how many want the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Wow, okay. (laughs) 
There's two things that you have to have faith in. Remember, it says, well, go, I'll show you this. Peter, this is not on your list. This is a curveball. Uh, but he's working with me. Go to Galatians 3. He asks a question here. I shared this last week. Galatians 3, 2. This is the only thing I want to find out from you. Did you receive the Spirit? That means the baptism of the Holy Spirit. By the works of the law or by hearing with faith? It's like any other promise. If it's a gift, it's a promise. Last week I talked about the whole dynamic of how we receive. It has to be aggressive. It has to be purposeful. It has to be designed where you want it. You know, if you don't want it, he doesn't give it. If you want it, he's more than willing to give it to you. If you want it all, if you want to be changed into a new person, if you want to have an encounter with God that turns you into somebody else, then you say, Lord, then I want that. Then you have to go for aggressively by faith to receive what he's already offered. How did you receive the Holy Spirit? By the works of the Lord? No. But by hearing and with faith, Lord, that's mine. That's my promise. That's my gift. Do you ever see that on Christmas morning, you see a pile of gifts? And what are you usually doing? You're running around looking for what packages have your name on it. Isn't that true? And you don't dare open somebody else's gift by mistake. You want what's yours. I mean, I've never seen kids yet on a Christmas morning go down and say, oh, that's nice. And they walk away from the gifts. Now they, they're diving headfirst into the pile and tearing them up, trying to get what's theirs. That's the kind of attitude that we have to receive anything from God. Lord, that's mine. And I want it. It's a promise. It's a gift. And here's what you have faith in. Follow me with this. Hold on to these thoughts. You have faith in the promise because it's from the Father. And you have faith in the person, Jesus, because he's the baptizer. Faith in the promise. Faith in the person. Okay? No good thing will he withhold from you. No good thing. You have faith in the person. You can trust Jesus. And then when you know that you have confidence in the promise and in the person, you can let it flow. Jesus said, out of your innermost being will what? Flow. What does that look like? It's the thoughts and ideas that come to you. It's like, Lord, you're, something's flowing inside of me. See, in the beginning, I didn't know what it was, but it was the Holy Spirit trying to get me to start moving. Remember last week, we went through this whole thing. In the Old Testament, every time the Holy Spirit fell on people, they began to prophesy. Something happens to our mouth when you see the power of God come upon us in the power of the Holy Spirit. Power of God came upon them and they prophesied. You see that all over the Old Testament. In the New Testament, you see the Holy Spirit coming upon people and they're speaking in tongues. Something happens to our mouth. We feel a move of God inside of us. We sense some words coming to us. That's the flow of God. Out of your innermost beings will what? Flow. I feel this sense inside of me. Something's going to happen. It begins to flow. And when it begins to flow, then I just start by faith releasing what's inside of me. I sense the flow and I let it go. I sense the flow and I let it go. If you sense it, that's what's going to happen. So anybody who wants the baptism of the Holy Spirit, this is Pentecost Sunday. I want you to come up front here, right in front of me, right now, and I will lay hands on you to get filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. This is a good thing. Can you say amen to that? Okay. Come on up. Stand up. Be excited for these people. Yeah. Say more, Lord. Okay. Just say more. There's got to be more people than that. Boy, don't be sitting there shy when God's got your name on a gift. When you've got this package with your name on it. Hallelujah, Lord. (laughs) <laughs> How many of you have never been baptized in the Holy Spirit before? Okay, we got one. What are you holding there? <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to start praying. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to relax. Just close your eyes and relax. Remember, this is a gift of faith. Okay? This is by you sensing the Spirit inside of you. If you sense a syllable in your head, just start releasing it. Okay? By faith. Okay, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you're going to send something. Don't be ashamed of it. We got little babies in this room. They have great faith to be able to babble in tongues, don't they? (laughs) Yeah, 
They're, and that's all we are. We become like little children. Unless you become as little children, you can't enter the kingdom of God. So let's just pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. This is your day. Say, this is my day. This is my, say it, this is my day, hallelujah. This is my day, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, Lord. Peter, do we have any, oh, where's Peter? Okay, can we put on some Bethel music or something like that? Just any kind of uh, uh, anointed kind of worship music we can just put on here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many are happy for these people? I'm really happy for these people. Say, this is my day. Okay. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. George. Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes. Hallelujah, Lord. And you're going to start sensing something flow. I need water. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Remember, you're receiving. You're not striving. You're receiving. You're just going to sense something inside of you. And just, it's just going to be start trick, trick, trickling and bubbling up. And then all of a sudden, out of your innermost beings will flow rivers. 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 Rivers of living water. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More. Lord. Fill. Fill. Fill right now. By faith, just let it flow. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Just let it go, Gary. Hallelujah, Lord. More, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. More, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. More, Lord. This is your daughter. Hallelujah. More, Lord. More. There's somebody behind you. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Fill now. Fill your daughter, Terry. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Just let it go out. Whatever thought comes in your head, just let it flow, Terry. Hallelujah. More, more, more fill, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. More. Hallelujah, Lord. Let it flow, Lord. Let it flow. Touch her, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 More, Lord, more, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. More than he's ever known. More than he's ever conceived. More than he's ever expected. More, Lord. Fill him to overflowing. Thank you, Lord. Fill right now. More, Lord God. Hallelujah. By faith, just let your mouth open and start releasing the words that you're sensing. Even if it's in a syllable. That's what faith is. More, Lord, more. More, Lord, fill, fill right now, Lord. Fill, Lord Jesus. No holding back. Hallelujah, Lord. Open your mouth wide and he will fill it. Open your mouth wide and he will fill it. Open your mouth wide and he will fill. More, Lord, more, Lord. Fill, fill, fill right now. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More. Fill, Lord Jesus. Fill, fill, fill. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord, hallelujah. Fill, Lord. Fill to overflowing. Let it go, Wayne. 
Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Somebody's behind you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Step up, Joe. Step up, Joe. Step up. More, Lord. More, Lord. Fill Joe. Overflowing. 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 Let it go. Open your mouth wide by faith and start speaking. Fill them to overflowing, Lord Jesus. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. More, Lord. More. Hallelujah, Lord. More. More, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. More, Lord. Fill her now, Jesus. Hallelujah. More, Lord. 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 More, Fill, Lord. Fill your son to overflow, Lord God. More, Lord God. Fill it. Fill, Lord Jesus. Fill, Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Fill her, Lord Jesus. Fill her up, Lord God. Fill her up. Fill her up, Lord Jesus. More, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Hallelujah. Fill, fill, fill. Open your mouth wide. He will fill it. There it is. Hallelujah, Lord. There it is. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. There it is. Hallelujah, Lord. More, 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 Lord Jesus, more, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Lord, more, Lord Jesus, more, Lord, more, Lord Jesus, more, Lord, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Baptize your son now, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Heart's desire, Lord. Grant him his heart's desire. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless your holy name, Lord God. Bless your holy name. More, Lord. More, Lord. Open your mouth wide and he will fill it. Jesus, 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 Jesus. More, Lord, more. Fill, Lord Jesus. Fill, fill him, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Bless your holy name. Rivers of living water, Lord God. Rivers of living water are here. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. It's not streams, it's rivers, Lord. Rivers of living water. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Irina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rivers, Lord. Just pray. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Fill. Fill. 
Fill, Lord God, to overflowing. Hallelujah. Beyond all that they ask or think, Lord Jesus. More, Lord. More, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your life, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Just say, I receive, Lord. I receive. I receive, Lord Jesus. I receive your Holy Spirit now, Lord God. I receive your Holy Spirit. By faith, just say it, Lord. I receive your Holy Spirit now, Lord God. It's your promise. It's your gift. I receive it now, Lord God. I aggressively receive the gift. I receive it. Just tell him. By faith, receive it. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. More, Lord. More. More. Fill. Fill. Fill, Lord Jesus. More. Hallelujah. I receive. I receive, Lord. I receive it. Hallelujah, Lord. By faith, take the gift. I receive it, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Open your mouth wide and he will fill it. If there's just a sound that comes to you, just start with that. One syllable. One syllable. One syllable, Father. Thank you for your daughter, Lord. Fill her now to overflowing, Lord Jesus. Fill her, Lord. Do exceeding abundantly beyond all that you could ask or think, Lord. Fill her now. More, Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. More, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. If it's just a syllable that you're sensing in your spirit, just start with that. Just like a little baby. A little baby just makes a little sound. Just start with that and begin to release it. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord, more, Lord, Jesus, more, Lord, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord. Fill her, Lord, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord. Overpower with your great love and your great power, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Thank you for your great love for her, Lord. There it is, Gary. There it is, Gary. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Start thanking him for the gift. And then receive it. Say, Lord, I receive your gift. I receive it by faith, Lord God. <laughs> Woo! Aren't we having fun? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessings. 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 Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. War, Lord. Fire. Fire in the Holy Spirit, Lord. Fire on Mike, Lord God. Fire, Lord Jesus, now in Jesus' name. Fire. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Consume the sacrifice, Lord God, for the baptism of fire in the name of Jesus. More, Lord God. Crash into him, Lord God. Crash into him, Lord God. 
Hurre a la barriga de vieja. Hurre a la barriga de vieja. Andre a la barriga de vieja. Carabarre andre a la barriga de vieja. Hurre a la barriga de vieja. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. More, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Fire, 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 fire. In Jesus' name, fire, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. More, Lord. More, Lord. Fire, Lord Jesus. Fire, Lord God. Fire. Hallelujah, Lord. Hurre out of fire, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Fire right now. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Fire, Lord God. Hurre out of fire, Lord God. Fire, Lord Jesus. Fire, Lord God. Fire, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Fire, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Should I hold it? <laughs> More, Lord, Father. Thank you for your son, Lord God. Fill, Lord God, right now. Hallelujah, Lord. More, Lord. More, more, Lord Jesus. Right now. Fire, Lord Jesus. Fire in his bones, Lord Jesus. Fire in Jesus' name. Fill, Lord God. Fill, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> More, Lord, hallelujah. Out of your innermost beings, hallelujah, Lord. Let it flow, hallelujah, Lord. Fire, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Keep thanking him. Keep thanking him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, say, I receive the gift, and then let it flow out of your mouth. Just say, whatever sound comes into your head, just let it flow. Fire in the name of Jesus, Lord God. More, Lord, more, Lord, more, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We're not ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We're not ashamed, Lord God. More, more, more. Fire, fire. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. More, Lord, hallelujah, Lord. Father, this is your precious daughter, whom you love so much, Lord God, and have so many wonderful gifts to give her, Lord. Release the Holy Spirit on her now, Lord God. Let the fire fall, Lord God. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Jesus. More, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Just let it go. Hallelujah, Lord. By faith, release it. Hallelujah, Lord. 
Karabak Riyadabak Rod Riyadabak Riyadi. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Riyadabak Riyadabak Rod Riyadabak Riyadi. Anybody need a touch of the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not here to be retired. We're here to be refired. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. More, more. Just say more. Hallelujah, Lord. More. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. More. Hallelujah. More, Lord Jesus. Fill, fill, fill. <laughs> Open your mouth wide. <laughs> the babies are speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Joy come up. Hallelujah, Lord. More, hallelujah, fill, fill, fill right now, Lord, more, hallelujah, joy, let's let it go, whatever sounds the Lord may put in your mouth, just release it, hallelujah, hallelujah, more, Lord, more, thank you for joy, Lord, thank you for the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, Lord, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Just keep saying, I receive it, Lord. I receive it. I receive your gift, Lord God. I receive the promise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. More, Lord. More, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Fill, Lord God. Fire, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for filling your daughter, Lord God. More, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, just breathe in the air of heaven, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rivers. We have rivers. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Time we got. Um, um, 
Anybody need healing for anything? Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Back in thee. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, right now we claim healing for Barbara's back and for her, her knee. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just come against all pain. Right now, right now, right now, Lord. All pain be gone in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Move it. What's it feel like, Barb? Stiff, okay. More, Lord, right now, Father. Right now. Loosen it right now, Lord. Loosen this stiff knee in Jesus' name. Right now, right now. Hallelujah, Lord God. Ricky, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing the back. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Where in the back? Okay. Okay. Stiff when you're walking the knee and stiff in your back. Okay. Son of God, we love you. Okay. Lift our gaze to you, Jesus. Forever changed by you. Oh, I can't get enough. Oh, I can't get enough. Of your amazing love. Okay. Say it again. Jesus, I can't get enough. takes for me going in ministry. And I can walk away. And I just want to be where you are. And I just want to be near your arms. There is nothing like your love. Jesus, there is nothing like Inside your heart, Tim, today, he longs to hear. 
Well, I thank you for all your patience. Um, we're going to make our way over into the um, fellowship hall, and we're going to pray God's blessing on this food. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for touching people by the power of your spirit, healing people by the power of your spirit, and we thank you for this great food that you provided for us well, Lord. You take care of us, spirit, soul, and body, Lord, and we're so grateful, Lord. I bless everyone here and release them now into your presence, into your peace, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, and amen. Hallelujah.